Tak. Hi everyone, it's I'm here with Magazine and we are here with the amazing Joe Norman Shaw. He's one of the most important people to come out of Canada that's an artist. He influences countless people in the industry from Toronto all the way to Vancouver with his Rose Actor Studio. Um, 26 years in the making for making other people the artists that they're trying to be and also in his own right uh, a working actor in Alberta especially. Hi, well Hi, Joe Norman Shaw. That was us playing our last interview with you that we got to shoot photos, video, and in-depth interviews are all on our site, I'm here with mag.com. Joe, you are back again. We are virtual on Zoom. How are you? I'm pretty good, thanks. Yeah. It's a beautiful <laughs> spring day here. It's like spring out there today. Oh, is it? Yes, it's been a cold one in Calgary recently, as it's been for all of Canada. We're watching the U.S. and wishing that we had sun more. But, uh, you know, it's things are really turning around with the energy and with the weather here. And things are looking up for people like you, Joe. You've been given or you've been working so hard on your business, a uh, company of rogues in Calgary. You have a new... Uh, uh, new information to share about what's going on with the studio, with the classes, the courses. Uh, you are the guy to go to for acting in Calgary. I know you're super humble, so he would never say that about himself. But how did that for you start in your life? Training people, letting, you know, helping people get to where they're hoping to get to in their artistries with acting. Hmm. That's an interesting question. Yeah, I mean, back in back in the late '80s, when I was in Toronto, I was in a a, a peer group class where uh, there was no there was a leader, but there was no instructor, and we would give feedback on each other's work. And I found that a lot of people liked my feedback. And um, when I moved from Toronto to Vancouver, I went to a place called Gast Gaston Actor Studio to check it out, and was like, oh, I, th I think I could teach here, and I. Uh, talked to Mel Tuck, who is the uh, founder of Gastown, which has, uh, you know, had a, a lot of great actors that came out of there, and Chris Jan Hurt and uh, Molly Parker and and um, many uh, Vancouver luminaries. And I started teaching there. And two years later, we opened Company of Rogues Actor Studio in Vancouver. And for various reasons, professional reasons mostly, we ended up out here in Calgary and we continued the studio here and have been going ever since. So, um, yeah. Uh, and, and so my life is a mix of training actors, working as an actor from time to time, as well as directing theater productions for, uh, for our studio, for St. Mary's University, where I also teach. So busy yes, life. St. Mary's. Oh, my God. OK, so Joe, back in the day, right before I was even an actor, I can't believe I was dating this guy and very serious. It was actually my first boyfriend. I was like probably eight, right out of high school, 18, 19. And he went to uh, this school, uh, St. Mary's. And I remember hearing about you because I think I went to your, there was like a theater production, right? Like you guys put on shows. Yes, you did. And I remember it was like at that church or something that's close, like attached to it or something. And I remember going to an event for you. And I thought, I literally just thought of this right now, but I know I remember you because he was interested in acting. And he told me, you know, you're crazy. You know, the way you are, you like to be artistic. Like you should get into acting. And <laughs> Back in that day, it was like 2008, 2009 is when I really started thinking because of what he had said and other people had. I had blossomed, oh my goodness, and uh, you know, knew how to do my hair properly that, that, in those days. And that's really what got me going. So that is so funny to know that you have been, your name has been synonymous to acting since the beginning of at least my time. So it shows how old I am, oh geez. <laughs> <laughs> Just well, I was in there. I've been there for 12 years, so it's got to be sometime within the last 12 years. So that's not so long. 
Yeah, definitely. I think that's awesome. Uh, so, you know, what's exciting, though, is that you have never given up on your own dreams. And people who watch Joe, that's like the main point of view is that how you have kept going. You do have a, a beautiful family and a famous daughter, actually, who you helped with her training. And now she's a teacher, I've heard. Is that correct still? Okay. Yeah, Sophie Hurt. Uh, she's out in Vancouver uh running some classes i mean this was the this is the family business right company of oh. rogues has, has uh you know we're a real grassroots family operation and uh she's kind of taking the ball and running with it out there right now i mean and she's also worked a lot as an actor a lot of series uh tv series that she's been on cardinal and uh romeo section and olympus that uh, where she played you know uh regular roles on uh, leading roles on those series so she's done well for herself yeah yeah i loved her in that one with jeff bridges where she has like a gun in her hand and is like <laughs> killing somebody she's so cute and small and i just love her and she's so serious as a as an actor like you really when you she's so innocent but you can see she's a serious actor and artist the way she holds herself so you did an amazing job like raising her but also putting her out there to be the next generation to help with, you know, your style. And like you said, it's the company of rogues, which is a family affair, but you have a, had a lot of people support you throughout the year. You can't just be like, so like known in Canada and Calgary from, you know, not knowing so many people. So let's talk about some of the people that you have got to work with as well, a little bit more. Uh, every year you guys have, or every you know year or so, COVID was quite the thing, I know. But every year you guys have a course and you put on an amazing show. And I've been to your theater productions for your students before. What can we expect for Rogues and who you're going to be teaching and more about behind the scenes of that? Well, uh, I mean, Rogues is an ongoing thing. Like we're uh, we're moving into our spring term of classes. We've we are now starting to audition for our full-time masterclass program, which starts in the fall. It's a two-year full-time program. So th there's that, you know, business as usual stuff that, cause we've, we've got actors that train here from uh, all levels of their, uh, you know, from beginner to uh, people who are still working in the profession. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the rogues theater component, um, I have to hold off on that right now because there's something that's in the works. Possibly it may be this year, but it may not be till next year, but it's yeah. an exciting new play that's being written. And um, I may need a, another couple of weeks before I'll know when <laughs> we're going to be meeting with that. But, uh, the, you know, the last Rogues Theatre production was the West End that Chris Jan Hurt wrote. And Chris Jan is the uh, co founder and creator of Company of Rogues and uh, Sophie's mom. And yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, we're, we're rogues together. And um, it was very good. I, I went and saw that as well. You always invite me to all of them or somebody comes and grabs me. And you, that was really great as well. Yeah. Um, well, we love having you I there. I think I did. I think that was the one I saw. If, I, if not, I could be mistaken. But I have definitely seen your guys' productions and just love what you guys bring to the table and really think not just as a course or classes. I feel like you guys do a great job putting on shows, like really emerging the artists just from even, uh, it's kind of like their practicum, I guess. So these people who are performing at that point you know, they are just so new, but they're so fresh and really into it. And you can see how serious they are. And I have definitely met a few people that you have taught that have moved forward in a big way. I remember when I saw the, the last project, uh, I don't know if it was Jared was a part of it. And then also your daughter as well. And they were starring in it. But I remember feeling like, I want to take his class so bad. So I think we had done like virtual or something together a few times and I had tried it, but I'm not quite the acting class kind of gal. I've got so much going on. It's really hard for me to commit to something every week. And I was like literally flying, I think in Vancouver and I had found my family at the same time when I went to Vancouver, like two, three years, two years ago or so. I remember her doing classes with you and I'm like, Joe, I'm really busy. I've got personal stuff. And I had found my family uh, on Facebook or whatever. So it was quite the year when uh, I was working with you. I feel like maybe you added that beautiful energy. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, we uh, we always hoping that you're going to come back. And I will. Person classes, though. I where, will. Uh, yeah. That was that was the uh, that was when COVID. Yeah. The COVID was happening. We did a we did an online for a period of time, but you know, in person is much more fun. So I think you would oh, find oh. the time to come and have a blast doing some work. Uh, you know, in this in the studio in front of the camera. As yeah, anybody you. would, you guys, you don't just have to be an actor to be doing this. Acting is so freeing. It takes you out mm. of your space mentally. You get to literally be somebody else. There are a lot of people in this world that have mental health issues. And a lot of people for acting find this a release to be somebody else for a minute without being labeled a psychotic, <laughs> being labeled something. But it's a beautiful thing. And, you know, you yourself, we like we said at the beginning of the interview, are an actor as well. And that is not to be forgot, okay? Your long list on your IMBD, I get tired. I can't keep uh, keep going past the next page, next page. You have so many lists of things that you have achieved and been a part of. You yourself are a famous actor I see in Calgary, out of Calgary, Alberta. So you just got cast in a new project, Joe. So we're super excited to see you again on the big screen eventually when this project is over. Let's hear all about it. Who you who you get to work with and what are you get to play? Yeah, well, my list is long is because I'm older and I've been around <laughs> a long time. So uh, no. I've been doing this since uh, since 1981. But yeah, the new project I just got cast, which is called Fault Line. And uh, I'm playing a business executive in there who's got some challenges to deal with but it's really interesting because it's uh two, two of the producers Stacy Harrison and Kirsten Lancaster are Stacy taught for rogues for like 20 years she's out in Vancouver now and Kirsten's a long time rogues and Scott Lepp, Lepp is the executive producer and Anna Cooley is directing this uh it's a, a really great suspenseful drama and uh so it's going to be fun to work with some people I know and and, and get out there on set. And uh, as much as I love being in the classroom, it's great for me to, to uh, you know, uh, work my chops as an actor and uh, and uh, put my money where my mouth is so that I can prove that I can still do it. <laughs> yes, you definitely. <laughs> but also, it's really fun for you. Uh, what do you like about acting the most? Why acting? Well, I think, uh, it, I mean, it is a creative form of expression. And, and so I, I feel like you get to travel different places, you get to express different parts of yourself and uh, tap into different emotional places in a creative way. Um, that I think is, you know, what you were saying about it being therapeutic acting isn't therapy per se, but it is therapeutic. So anyone studying drama or studying acting, uh, it's like, food for the soul. Kind of, I, th I find that when you're uh, an authentic actor and you really connect with the other people in, uh, in whatever work you're doing, that the actors are intimately connected through that creative process. And there's something just really exciting and transformative about that, which is why people keep coming back, whether it's whether it's here in the classroom or whether they're out on set or they're on stage and in productions, it's a, a wonderful way to creatively express yourself. And I enjoy that as much now as I, as I ever have. So I'm happy to get back to, to doing something. So when do you start uh, filming? When is that happening? Um, it's right now it's set to shoot uh, late February, early March. So uh, I, I haven't got my, this, this literally happened just like the day before yesterday. So, um, I haven't got a schedule yet, but I, I have a window of time when it looks like we're going to be shooting. The great thing about it, it's set in Calgary. It's being filmed in Calgary. It kind of explores the cutthroat mining industry, and it shows the Calgary seedy underbelly as well as the kind of glossier uh, corporate world here. So I, I think it's it's going to be a really uh, fun and interesting project and, uh, and a, a way for uh, local artists to both be involved, but also to kind of show a little bit of the world in which we live in here. You got it. I'm loving this. So let's talk more about Rogues. How can people get a part of it, follow you guys, and what do you have coming up for this, yeah, this semester, yeah. season, year? 
Well, uh, uh, you know, we, I mean, we're, we're there on the social media, we're on Facebook and we're on Instagram, but we, um, our website, you know, corogues.com, people can check us out and find out what we have going on. Um, kind of what I was mentioning before is we've got lots of part-time programs that, uh, which, which are ongoing, uh, as well as our full-time program, which we audition, which is by audition. So um, the spring term starts in a couple of weeks here. Uh, we've got all sorts of film classes, Meisner scene study, uh, voice and movement. Um, you, we, you were talking about productions earlier. The Rogues Theatre production is for, for some of our actors who are ready to launch their, um, uh, take their work into the professional uh, realm. But we also have performance intensives in June and July, which is a chance for people to get on stage and work their craft uh, in a like. It's a it's a class that you can take, and we perform. Usually, we perform down at uh, West Island College, which has a beautiful theater space down there that we've used the last couple of years. So there, there's lots to get involved with here. There's lots going on all the time, and um, uh, I think that if people are interested, check out the website, check us out on social media. But if you uh, get the itch come in, audit a class, it's for free, or come in, you can yes. meet, just meet with me and I'll sit down and have a chat and see what you're interested in. Well, you know, I know a few people who are trying to get into acting, uh, teens, people who are a little bit, uh, who are past our age, you know, it's really for all ages. So I'll be definitely always letting them know, guys, Joe Normanshaw is the guy to go to. And plus as well, because you're so good at what you do, it's kind of like you have people who come out of your class, you know, prepared. So when they do kind of set out there, and especially in Calgary, if they if that's where they stay, um, you know, they're you know, like Stacy Harrison, right? Like she's one of those people known as a really good actress, and I think you taught her. So it's like I don't know, you have your stamp on a lot of people, or you can tell that they've been taught by you because they're very aware in a, in a certain way that you know how to teach. So yeah, you just really put out some great uh, A-list actors from Calgary, I feel. So you are the person to go to. I'm sure well, there are many acting classes in the world, but having an a, like accredited known person on your class, you know, for people like Rhonda Fasecki to see that, that you've put in the work, that you've, uh, like casting directors know who you are. So it's very important for people to do their research when they are trying to be actors because who they're seen by, who they work with, you guys, it's everything. So make sure we keep it uh, known that this journey of acting is forever. Like whenever somebody here who's an actor hears about a project, it's not just about being seen in it. It's about wanting to be a part of that community, wanting to enjoy the downfalls, the successes, the hard work that you put in. It's a beautiful community of artistic people. And I love that you're a part of it in a huge way, Joe. And if there's any other way that we can support you guys more, you let us know. And hopefully you come out to many events in the future with us. Well, I appreciate that. I mean, you mentioned Rhonda. I was Rhonda's first yeah. acting teacher before she became a casting director. So uh, you really uh, know Rhonda and she is the lady to impress. So <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and we have a lot, we have lots of actors that we have trained that are out in Vancouver and working in other centers as well as here locally. And I think that, yeah, a casting director and agent looks at you and they want to know that you've got some formal training because you, you know how to prepare yourself and you've got a good work ethic because you're, you know, um, the training is, uh, twofold I mean yeah people will come they want to have fun they want to be creative they want to be part of the community that's all great and uh, importantly though that if you want to get out there on set or you want to audition for some significant theater projects to be able to have the technique and the and the uh, ability to be a consistently good actor um, requires training and study and uh, and I think the people I'm a little old school. I think people need to take it seriously, and they got to and put in the work and really develop themselves as actors and and take and take that seriously. Um, but I say take it seriously, but we always have fun. Doing the work and, and we always practice. have fun doing it, don't we? <laughs> really is fun. That's so fun. So um, with uh, everything that you have going on, what do you do for fun, Joe? 
where can people see you around town? You know, like I'm seeing on your social media that you have this like coffee time with Joe. <laughs> I was like, let's oh, tell people too. what's yeah. going on with this. I think you enjoy this very much. <laughs> Look on well, the job with Joe was intended to kind of answer uh, actors' questions and do a little video thing, kind of like this. But people say, what about this? What about that? You should do a podcast. Yeah. So I just started. Doing just started doing this little thing that we, we post on Instagram and on Facebook to kind of uh, answer some pertinent questions. So if, if it, from this interview, if people want to go on our Facebook page or Instagram and shoot me some questions or to info at corogues.com, which is our email, and, um, or me directly, joe at corogues.com, we'll do a segment and yes. we'll, we'll, we'll answer the question and uh, but in terms of what do I do? I mean, I, I live a pretty simple life. I mean, the studio is here in Crescent Heights. I live close by. I can walk here. I enjoy having, a, you know, a drink or two or a coffee with my friends in the, uh, Kensington in the outlying area here, which is really nice. And I play my guitar at home and play with the cats and enjoy some nice walks. And, uh, and you know, when I'm, when I, I think that when you work in this, um, art form, as in whether you're acting, you're teaching, directing, takes a lot of energy. So uh, when you're not on, so to speak, you need quiet time. You need a little, yep. uh, um, you right. know, time to regenerate yourself. So that's that's mostly what I do when I'm not here. That's amazing, Joe. It's so good to see you again. I just really love everything that you're up to, and feel kind of like we're always here for you. You know, definitely come out on our. Um, you know, to some of our events that we do. So if you guys, which you guys are, there's some exciting news for us, you guys. We're going to have Joe and Co Rogues being promoted on a, on a cover with us. So we're really excited about that. So you'll be a part of our promotion in a really big way this year. And uh, people will be hearing a lot more about you throughout the year. And yeah, so get ready, guys. Joe Norman Shaw, uh, Company of Rogues in Calgary, the number one uh, acting school and theater school in Calgary. <laughs> Thank well, you, and we pre we appreciate your continued support. You've always been there for us. So uh, I'm here with is uh, you know um, I think that what you're doing is so important for promoting local artists and trying to create a buzz around what we're doing here locally yeah we, we lost some of the arts-based newspapers that we used to have and you're stepping how in I, I don't know how I can do. <laughs> you know I wish I could do more honestly there's many people that criticize who I promote what I do how I do it but I know that continuing to promote the people that matter to us and that they you know that matters to them that's all that we're really focused on because the people that we're promoting are people like you who are unsung heroes sometimes because the way it is in Canada is media. We're not so into paying for media. It's just not a thing. And uh, I'm, you know, I think it's very humble and cool. I'm okay with that, that our town does not boast about ourselves. You know, there's some big people within our town that get promoted quite a bit. But the people that don't get shared, those are the people that I usually try to support because they have the story that hasn't been told yet. And that's a wonderful thing. Something unique, and, you know, yeah. The community comes from the grassroots and and grows upward. And you know, you're giving everyone the opportunity to you know, to be seen and to uh, raise their visibility here within this community and beyond. So kudos to you because what you're doing is really important oh thank you well you as well you're the one training the actors that are coming out of canada and calgary and making us all look good so thank you joe and thank you so much for being on our show and i look forward to watching your instagram more and uh enjoying this coffee time with joe and i might get a few java with joe java with joe when are those days that you it's saturdays or something when do you do them we just we post them every other week. Okay, uh, well, take a look. You know. Ask him a question, you guys. You'll learn from the best. <laughs>